This video is about walk planning recorded for the Ipswich Ramblers session. I'm talking about software tools and GPS. If you want to contact me later, those are my details. This website comes in handy. There's your web address, which is on the handout. It's based on Google Maps and you can scroll around. The good bit is if you click it, you get latitude, longitude, a six figure grid reference and a 10 figure grid reference. So there's no excuse um, ever to go to the wrong car park ever again. If you click the 10 figure reference, it loads up Bing Maps and it loads up the Ordnance Survey view. And on a good day, that should be our venue, if I've got it right. If you scroll in too much, it goes to standard map view, come out a bit your 1 in 25,000 view, come out a bit more, 1 in 50,000 view. If you come out too much, it goes back to standard map view. And you can get a satellite picture. So that should be the pavilion. And for walkers, the Ordnance Survey view is most useful. Now, Google Earth. Let's download Google Earth. Again, the web address is on the handout and up here. Agree and download. There's one I did earlier. Tell it to set up. And it's installing. And there it is. Now let's have a look at the layers. There's one layer which I find especially useful. So I've gone into the gallery. Down at the bottom there it is, Wikilock. Turn that on. Zoom in. And we can display the truck on the map. And that's a walk that Waveney Ramblers did a few weeks ago. And this is incredibly useful. Um, you can find lots of walks. Um, people upload them. But it really comes into its own if you want to go to foreign parts where there are no OS maps. So you're on holiday in the Canary Islands. As you can see there are walks dotted all over the place. Let's find one. Display the track on the map. And there's a nice little walk. Which is almost certainly going to work because somebody recorded it and uploaded it. Most useful. And you can view it on the on this website. And it tells you it's um, just under 12 miles, 2,000 feet up, 2,000 feet down. So that's highly useful for planning walks in foreign parts. Right, let's plan a walk. So, I'm into my places. I'm right clicking, add a folder. I'm calling it walk. I'm now going to add a path. You can choose the colour, set the width, 100% will do nicely. Click on measurements and let's plan a walk. Back 
back to Martlesham. There's the pavilion. Let's go for a quick stroll around the cricket pitch. So I'm dotting in the track just to follow. And that's just under half a mile. So that's a, a walk planned. Let's add a place mark. And we'll give it the car park symbol. Find the grid reference we worked out earlier. Copy that. Paste it there. And we've got a planned walk with the grid reference of the car park. Very handy. And very quick to do. Obviously you can do a much longer walk. So that's an introduction to a couple of websites and Google Earth.